So remember when we declared victory on COVID 48 times? Well, we might need to declare victory again in the future because we're clearly not over it yet. COVID is making flu and other common viruses act in unfamiliar ways. Folks, once again, once again, I have to say this. We are fucked! And not in a good dick way. At one point last month, children were admitted to Yale New Haven's Children's Hospital. We're talking about children here, by the way. That already have, like, you know, their bubbling immune systems. They're not, like, as good as an adult, right? So factor this in. With a startling range of seven respiratory viruses. Seven! They had adenovirus, rhinovirus, respiratory synchial virus, and human meta pneumonavirus, influenza, and parainfluenza, as well as coronavirus, which many specialists say is to blame for the unusual surges. There have been a lot of reports. I know a lot of people that have long COVID that I've spoken to. And there's plenty of reports that say when you get COVID, it permanently weakens your immune system. A lot of people... Uh, a lot of research has come out that COVID stays in your system for potentially years in some of your organs. The virus just stays alive, like just has a little bit of, you know, camping site in your spleen, you know, in your liver, you know, just camping out in your kidneys, right? And then, you know, eventually what it does is it puts your body in a state where it's constantly fighting viruses all the time, including the coronavirus, and it just puts your body in a state of a weakened immune response. Uh, and so... Uh, now, again, we've had COVID in this in this world for about two years now. Uh, well, well, actually, I guess we're entering our third year. Um, or I guess we did enter our third year. Jesus, I don't even know what time this anymore. I'm going to be honest. Um, but again, people that have said, oh, I got COVID in, in March, April of 2020. And now they've got autoimmune diseases, right? So, hey, what's going on there? Um, but Joe Biden declared victory from COVID on the State of the Union. Remember during the State of the Union, take your mask off, go outside, victory speech. That's not typical for any time of the year and certainly not typical in May and June, said Thomas Murray, an infection control expert and associate professor of pediatrics at Yale. Some children admitted to the hospital were co-infected with two viruses and a few with three, he said. More than two years into the coronavirus pandemic, familiar viruses are acting in unfamiliar ways. Respiratory syncytial virus, known as RSV, typically limits its suffocating assaults to the winter months. Rhinovirus, caused by the common cold, rarely sends people to the hospital. And the flu, which seemed to be making a comeback in December after being a no-show in the year before, disappeared again in January once the Omicron variant of the coronavirus took hold. Now the flu is back, but without one common lineage known as Yamagata, which hasn't been spotted since early 2020. It could have gone extinct or may be lying in wait to attack our unsuspecting immune systems, researchers say. The upheaval is being felt in hospitals and labs. Doctors are rethinking routines, including keeping preventative shots on hand into the spring and even into summer. So not only are you going to want to get your flu shot this year, you might want to get it next week. Folks, we're fucked. I don't know what to say. Like, again, like, literally every scientist, except, like, that one guy that goes on Joe Rogan's show, in April of 2020, in March of 2020, were saying, yeah, COVID's going to be a big deal. There's going to be variants, and it's probably going to be weakening our immune systems. It's probably going to make, you know, easier for other viruses uh, to take hold of your body. And everyone in the world was just like, hey. Fuck it. We'll roll the dice. We'll roll the dice. This fucking shit's crazy. Researchers have a rare opportunity to figure out what behavioral changes like stay-at-home orders, masking, or social distancing are responsible for the viral shifts, and what evolutionary advantages SARS-CoV-2 may be exercising over its microscopic rivals. Blah, blah, blah. In hospitals across the country, physicians are adjusting protocols. And for decades reflected a predictable cycle of illness that would come and go when schools closed or weather changed. Isn't that crazy that we have predictable cycles of illness, by the way? Like, okay, this is like the same thing with cars. Like, let me just allow me to go on a rant for a moment. Okay. So we know shuffling a bunch of kids like sardines into school systems that are poorly ventilated, right? That have asbestos in the walls and haven't been like refurbished in like, you know, since the 1930s. We know for a fact that that combined with winter makes disease spread even more. We know that. 
And we know that there's going to be tens of thousands of people that die every year from these diseases. So they're predictable. We know they're going to die. And yet, wait, wait, what did we do about it? Nothing. We do nothing. Wouldn't it make more sense maybe to do like schooling in the summer? I don't know. Like if the winter combined with shuffling everyone like sardines into small rooms that are poorly ventilated increases disease overall because kids go home and they participate in the economy. They go to stores. They go to like whatever the fuck and then they just spread their viruses everywhere. Is it is it possible maybe we could reorient society a little bit? If we can predict that X amount of people are going to die and we know they're going to die and we do nothing about it, isn't that a little fucked up? Anyway, COVID has kind of just put that whole thing, dialed it up to 11. Um, yeah, we know people are going to die, but I want to go to Wendy's, bro. Yeah, we know people are going to die, but, you know, I want to go to school and have a pizza party in my asbestos-filled, poorly ventilated classroom. Like, these motherfuckers are stupid. And by motherfuckers, I mean everyone. Everyone. The leaders, the politicians, the corporate overlords, and the people. Again, I, the, the, the poll that I, I read a couple of weeks ago, maybe a month ago, I don't know, that said that only like 18% of Americans think COVID is a big deal. Only 18%. The people are fucking stupid. It's not just the politicians. It's not just the leaders. It's not just the corporate overlords. It's the people. It's the motherfucking people. It's the Americans. They're fucking stupid. They're fucking stupid. They're stupid. They're stupid. Every single one of these shit fuck motherfuck Americans, when every time you look out the window, I'm going to look out the window right now. Oh, there's one. Another dumb motherfucker. All right. There's just so many fucking stupid ass motherfucking motherfuckers in this goddamn planet. And there's too many. There's too fucking many of them. There's too many, of and I'm not saying this in the overpopulation. Oh, buddy, boo, I'm Bill Gates. I'm gonna get that. I'm not saying it in that fashion. I'm saying that we need to reduce the amount of stupid motherfuckers, aka have any education system that functions. That's the thing. Okay, so we have all these school systems, right? And we're willing to th literally just massacre however many tens of thousands of people a year with flus and other stuff because of school systems. And you go to school, and what do you learn? What do you learn? Nothing. You don't learn anything. So you go to school, right? Really, all that does is just make you train to get up early and to go somewhere you don't want to go so that you can be launched into the fucking workforce. And then you just learn a bunch of disinformation about American mythology and how great the USA is, right? Okay. That's great. But then also, again, it's just going to kill a bunch of people for no reason. For no reason. For no reason. And the same thing with office buildings. The thing that almost everything in our society... Like, we're still operating as if it's, like, the fucking 18th century, right? Except we have science from the 21st century, and we just, we're not improving anything. We're not improving anything. <laughs> like, at all. We're still driving cars. A hundred years after the fucking cars were invented, and we're still fucking driving them, man. Like, what? Like, this shit's crazy. Like, you don't think we can fucking evolve at all? Back to the article. You would see a child with febrile illness and think, what time of the year is it? Said Peter Hotez, a molecular virologist and the dean for National School of Tropical Medicine at Baylor College of Medicine in Houston. For years, Teresa Barton, head of the pediatric, pediatric oh, infectious diseases, that you'd, I can't, I'm not reading all that, has routinely championed the flu vaccine each fall and relaxed their advocacy by March and April when the flu fizzled out. The new shift in seasonality with flu cases rising last summer and then again this spring made her rethink. You were like, oh man, in clinics, let's get your flu shot. Anyway, so what this is saying is we're fucked. We're fucked is what this is saying. Not only does COVID weaken your immune system, while you're actually like sick with COVID, but it has long lasting health effects that fuck you up forever. I mean, we probably could fix it, but is that gonna be covered in health insurance? No, they want you to be debilitated. They want you to go to the hospital every other fucking week so that you have to buy a new miracle pill that doesn't fucking do anything. They've got you by the balls. You're fucked. You're fucked. And again, I just want to be very clear, not in the good dick way. They're not even letting that happen. Anything at all, any reprieve. I don't know, man. 
man. Don't even get me started on the food cycles either. When 88% of Americans have metabolic syndrome, because 95% of Americans don't know how to eat fucking vegetables. Did you know that? 95% of Americans don't eat fiber. What's fiber? Vegetables, motherfucker. 95% of Americans don't know how to eat a fucking salad. They're so fucking stupid. You don't think that causes any fucking act, like reverberating health issues for everyone on this fucking earth, in this planet, on this country at least? You don't think? When 88% of Americans have metabolic syndrome, Right? They're, they just have a slow metabolism that, you know, takes longer to actually break things down. You don't think that that causes significant illness everywhere else? Isn't that crazy? Isn't that fucking shit insane? This is insane. This is insane. And everyone's just like, let's go back to McDonald's and stuff our face. Go, I'm sad from my COVID disease. Let me cure my sadness by getting a Wendy's five buck box. Like, I just, I can't with Americans, man. Americans are just so fucking stupid. Again, I just want to say, like, all of our behavior is just like planets revolving around the sun in the solar system. We're all just doing the same thing over and over and over and over again. We're all just on a fucking track. We're all looping, doing the same fucking thing. Woo! Loop the loop the loop! And is anything going to happen? Oh, shit! Oh, fuck, our society is crumbling. Well, let's do nothing. Let's go to McDonald's just to feel alive. This fucking country, man. Jesus Christ.